Were you at Rolling Loud? Nah. Nah? I went to New York and Cali. Yeah. yeah. I went to the last one in New York before the mm. pandemic. Yeah, we I flew think. out here to, to the Cali one in December, right? December? Yeah, yeah. yeah How December. was that for you? It's fucking awesome. Yeah? Um, yeah, it was like... Oh, but not where we stayed. Oh, we, my. Oh, Crestline. You're at a Crestline? It's <laughs> no. up in the mountains outside of San Bernardino. You're so oh, isolated. Yo, we each got our phone snatched right oh, out of the yeah. I got my phone took twice. twice. By who? Tw- who the fuck knows? Dude, Thousands they took of people everyone's got their phones. phone. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's, everybody's phones at, were good. At the festival. Like, yeah, I promise you, if somebody's bro. watching this who went to San Bernardino... Yeah. It was because uh, it was on the news, right? This is like a big operation. They were finding people in, with trunks open. Yeah, with I have phones, pictures hundreds, of just phones. phones. Yeah. Like, but how'd you get a song out your hand while so, you're just standing there? So okay, so the first night, first one I had was you. First one was you. The first, first night was one was you. me because it's three days rolling out. Day one, the phone was just gone. One second, and then you got your phone snatched day two, right? Yeah, but you got you got yours back in the lost and found on I day one. I found it because someone had yeah. dropped it on the ground who snatched it, and then someone picked it up and was like, "Oh my god!" And then they were like. Oh, it says Prob by Zach on Instagram. Prob by Zach's phone. Oh, my God. They went to my gram and they're like, we found your phone. But um, so I got the back. Then day three, Tyler Yahweh. Yeah. I was at his set turning up, crowd surfing. If you look at the Rolling Loud uh, like video and shit of Tyler's set, like I'm like crowd surfing. And there's a hand that goes into my pocket. Just takes yeah. that shit. And they're, they're pros at this shit. Yeah, so, like, so good at like, it. Like, bro, it's like butter. It's just gone. What a bunch of broke bitches. That's what yeah. I'm saying. And then my find my Jesus. iPhone, so that shit went to China. Yeah, mine's in Florida. Yeah, mine went to China. <laughs> his went to Florida. What? Yeah, yeah and my they boy, sold that shit. Where did um? What's his name? He went. His phone got taken in Nevada. Yeah, like yeah, lo- yeah most yeah, of them one went. One of our boys. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a shame. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. But now I got Max. the 13 Pro Max. So yeah. Lit, so. I remember mine getting taken. It was right after Trippy, so we were really high. <laughs> yeah. And as we're coming out, mm-hmm. everyone's leaving. So it's a mob of people. And yeah. I'm obvious. Like, I felt my pocket, and I'm like, mm. no way. And I felt it. All. Yeah. My phone's not there. And, like, I'm so reacting so slow. And I look at him. I'm like, <laughs> my phone's gone, bro. And yeah. we stood in the lost and found like line for hours. It wasn't even there. Like yeah. uh, there's been a couple places I've been in my life, like for instance, Spain and South Africa, where sick. they warn you so hard. Like you will, yeah, you do. will get pickpocketed mm-hmm. here. It's so sketch. you know, wear pants that have a zipper, or or you know, mm. t- take you know, have these little weird belts that you yeah. can put all your possessions yeah. in so that people That's can't why I got steal this. it. I need so it. The I need to get one. Of I got this at Rolling yeah. Loud because yeah. <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> it's clear. Yeah. That's smart though because everybody who got those. Little bags in LA, people assume it's a gun, Facts. so yeah. they're not gonna yeah. be able to assume yeah. you. That's pretty cool, yeah. But, but anyway, like, yeah, like in those countries, like, you just always have it in mind that you can yeah. get your shit took. It's fucked up that you might Over have here, to apply like, that same logic to go on a mm. fucking rolling loud because and, people are such dirt bags. And the out crazy here. thing is, is like, I got my phone snatched day one of rolling loud, and then day three comes, and I'm like walking around like. Like this the yeah. whole fucking time, oh, you know, yeah. like trying to make sure. He wouldn't sure even give st- it to me. He yeah. thought they were gonna open my bag up mm. and take it out. I'm like, so bro, I, I and then it. I was like, fuck it. I'm not gonna spend rolling loud, like fucking skitzing out about this shit. So I'm just like diving on the crowd. And that's yeah. when somebody had snatched my shit, you know? Right. But like, I don't know. Someday I'm trying to play rolling loud, you know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to just be in the audience like only, you know? Facts, I think facts. I think if you've had a no jumper interview, they'll book you on rolling loud. Yeah. I I I've been commenting I've been commenting on rolling loud shit. I'm performing. And they're like, where? Yeah, where? Everywhere. And I'm like, everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I'm performing. I'm performing everywhere. <laughs> you just, you know the the founder, Tarek? Yeah, I, I it, follow him on Instagram. Definitely, Never yeah. Him. Just goat no cap. Just <laughs> yeah. remind him over and over and you over. You're the to, goat. Yeah. You'll probably eventually just give in. <laughs> yeah, Tarek, the yeah. goat no cap. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I already like, know. Yeah, yeah I don't know. You might, you might, it might I, work. I'm trying to pop out to the Miami one, you know? From your, from your perspective as somebody who's going to Rolling Loud as a fan, yeah. What was your overall like satisfaction level with it? Because I feel like I don't really get a real perspective on it because I'm kind of like backstage and shit. And mm. I'm like, I, I wonder as a fan I mean, how you how you enjoyed it. I mean, so I don't just look at it as a fan, but as someone who's played hundreds of shows. Right. Uh, so like for me, I feel like I'm kind of in the middle between where you're at and a fan. Right. So like for me, I'm like, this is fucking lit, and I'm like, oh, that sound guy just fucked up, but that yeah. kind of adds to the aesthetic of this whole thing. Yeah. Mm. Like, I think, uh, I mean, Rolling Loud's a good fucking time, you know? Yeah. Like, um, I went to the New York one and the Cali one. Right. And now I'm going to be going to the Miami one for the first time. So, um, I don't know, Rolling Loud's a good-ass time, Like, you know? for me, it's easy to go to a concert or a show and, mm. you know, spend a couple hours watching some bands or rappers or whatever yeah. and have a good time. And that the whole thing with Rolling Loud is that it's so much of a good thing that it's kind of overwhelming. 
You well, know? it can be. Yeah, I see be. what you're saying, but three stages for, uh, with like 12 like, hours. Like, oh, we got to run over to see Kid Cudi. Yeah. It's kind of like, like yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Like, even just standing up for that long well, is a whole me, thing. It's refreshing. Well, you're because, high or drunk. You don't really feel. Oh, well, no, nah, not even just that. For me, it's like Rolling Loud is my new Warp Tour. I grew up going yeah. to Warp Tour. So that's for me. That was hot as fuck. And I went to Rolling Loud New York in December or not December, October. October. And then December was Cali. So for me, it's like this is like a more comfortable Warp Tour. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's just all good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, I don't know. I love festivals. You guys are getting fucked up the whole time that you're out there? Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, how should I answer this? That's yeah. always a thing in Rolling Loud, too, though, is at a certain point, you're like watching like some yeah. girls get dragged out, and yeah. you're just like, oh, fuck. Yeah. People really are going hard. Puked on me. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. What set was that? Uh, I, was that Skies? No, it was, yeah, it was, it was Skies. Yeah, yeah Lil, Lil Skies. Skies. She started, yeah, yeah uh, she's, she's like she's like opening up the pit. And I'm like, let's fucking yeah, go. I'm yeah. ready to metal. You know what I mean? I'm ready to open this shit up. Like, and then she's like, no, no. Her friend's like, no, no, no. She's going to throw up any second. I'm like, uh, oh, shit. So I'm backing up, opening the pit up. What? Yeah. All over the He like dabs back. her up. And then I dabbed her <laughs> up right after. And I was like, she was chill. Dude, she was like, I'm good. She started really? drinking again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's rolling loud. Yeah, so like, it was right before Lil Skies. I feel like there's two types of people when it comes to puking. When when you're drunk and there's people who like just do it and yeah. it's like that just that fixes everything that goes back to life. Yeah. Myself, if I'm drinking and I puke, you're done. The night is over. Yeah, me too. The, re- the uh, least large percentage of the next day is over. Uh, like I cannot function. I would go find a bench and curl up in a ball. I've never yeah. thrown up from drinking. Wow. Okay, guys, we want to thank you so so much for getting us to a hundred thousand subscribers right here on the Clips channel. If you want to support, please. Click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200K. Thank you. Thank you so much.